Hey guys, it's a frugal Nista. Let's get some light on the situation. Okay, I'm downstairs in the basement. I get the question all of the time, frugal Nista, where do you and how do you store all of your Christmas? Well, we are in the basement. Yes. Now y'all know that I have an unfinished basement the size of my house. Okay. And um, I really took my time this year, y'all coming down here and organizing everything. The only thing I forgot to do was, was make myself a master list. But I kind of, you know, can get the feel for where everything is. At least everything is organized in the big red uh, containers that I picked up, you know, throughout the year. But right now, what I think I'm getting ready to do is let y'all look at this. And we'll continue to the back of this part of the basement. All of my signs are here. Each and every one of them. Okay, I do believe I don't need any more signs. That's why I didn't buy any signs when I was in Burlington. All of this. This guy was a free find last year. Yeah, I picked him up from Home Goods. I think he's FAO shorts too, y'all. Cute little Santa with a tree and it lights up. That is the comforter that goes on the guest bedroom. I used that on the guest bedroom last year along with those curtains. Here are a couple of blankets, red and white, uh, that I got from Home Goods, free finds. Okay. All of my little snow. This guy. Again, we're downstairs in the basement. Now, you're probably wondering, Fru, and you said, what's this on the wall? Well, when the girls were little, it used to be a playroom down here. We had all kinds of parties, y'all. The forever tree that's always up. As you can see, that's the cinder blocks. Okay. So you can tell I'm in a basement. My guy was here and just turned off our sprinkler system, so that's why this is down. But y'all, this tree has been up. Y'all try to guess how long this tree has been up. Yeah. I figured it out. It was Mirabella's birthday party because Mirabella is born in December, y'all. So all of her parties were centered around um, Christmas because she's born so close to Christmas. So this tree has been down here. And it works also, y'all. If I find the plug, I might try to turn it on, but not really because I got to get done. But that's the the forever tree, free fine tree, free fine tree, all of my um, wreaths, all of my swags, all of the greenery, wreaths and garland, wreaths and garland. You come over here, more wreaths. These are all uh, tabletop trees. My big white reindeer. Speaking of white, all of my white items are here. All of my red items are in there. All of my metallics are in here, silver. More greenery. And on this table, you know, all of our linens. Okay, some candles, snowballs, all of my books. I'm still a book person. I love looking through books. I told y'all that before. All of my little um, snow globes. Yeah, all of my rugs. Over here. And some poppers are back there. And all of these bins are all of my pillows. Yeah. This side. So I just have those two ornaments here. All of my decorative boxes that I use to decorate with. My little train is here. All of these tabletop trees. They came from various places. And as we come over here, my big tree that I picked up from Sam's Club. Some garland here. These two trees I've never used before, but y'all remember when I got these last year for $7.90. Some little New Year party kits. Another designer tree. I've used this one before. I have not used this one before. I picked this up last year also. And then I have a classic nine-foot pre-lit, uh, just regular with clear lights. Yep, $29, y'all, instead of $2.99. This little topper, little uh, snow top hat, more items um, that I probably picked up recently 
like this is all new. I picked these up from, uh, I think I showed y'all these. Yeah, I showed you this. This all came from turn seven. Okay, but I will use it this year. Look at these beautiful risers. I cannot wait to use those. Okay, so what do y'all want to do now? Y'all just want to see what I picked up for Christmas since I kind of showed y'all how I store everything. Yeah, on this table, uh, again, this is the basement. One year, y'all, I had a princess theme party. I took Mirabelle and her friends to Disney on Ice. Um, y'all, I actually purchased a bus and I decorated it. Um, and we had these little, um, trays on it for the little girls. And we went to Disney on ice. Yes, we did. And the girls use these trays when they're not feeling well. I give them breakfast in bed and all of that. So I got a whole bunch of these somewhere. Probably. I probably got like 10 of these y'all. Okay. There is uh, Mr. Deer, Free Fine Deer, my sleigh that I didn't use yet, three Big Santa. I always put these under um, plastic, and I put them somewhere so I can see them. So if Art comes down here, he's not shoving something on top of something. So, you know, you could possibly break something. Yeah, that guy's been with me a long time. I got him from uh, Cracker Barrel about 15 years ago. Yeah. So my big Santas are there. This table, uh, all of my, you know, dishes. These were all like free finds. I remember picking that up from Big Lots, Target, Dollar Tree. And y'all remember my free find Ray Don, right? All those beautiful plates. I got those for free. And this little butter dish that I have yet to use. That came from Big Lots. I think I paid 60 cents for it. These little cups, Big Lots end of clearance. I think I got her day after Christmas, Burlington. Yeah, she was so cute, is so cute. Yeah, so, um, you know, I get to see everything. This little Santa cookies, really cute. I got this last year, yeah, 50 cents. And that little platter, my nutcrackers. Those four guys, so cute. My little blush pink uh, tabletop trees. And then my little lantern. And my gingerbread house. Okay, these uh, I got this in the clearance at home store. Yeah. And these guys were free finds. And this all came from Big Lots, my little campers. At the bottom... I told y'all I used to entertain a lot. Those are my chafing dishes under there and an ice chest. And then here's a cute tree collar that I got last year. Yeah, end of clearance. More Christmas items under there. And I think that's it, y'all. Just in time because I hear the furnace about to go off, okay? All right, y'all. So I'm going to find a place to sit down and show y'all some stuff that I got new. All right, y'all, let's get started. Y'all let me know what y'all think about my storage. So proud of it. I hope y'all can see it. So we're going to get started uh, with some decorations for Christmas that I purchased this year. So we're going to start with this guy, the last thing that I think I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I'll give you a close-up view of him. I got him for 60% off. Yeah, think this was an excellent buy. Again, I'll show you a very close-up picture of him. He's absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love him. Isn't he adorable? I love the navy blue background, his jolly face, and it's just so beautiful. And I'm telling you, I am so grateful, seriously, to see items like I like to collect in things like this, okay? Going back, again, I've been doing this for 30 years, and I, I know what I like to collect, and I have been an avid collector. So years and years ago, I would have paid a pretty penny for him, more than probably the sticker price, because I was just so in love with seeing images like that. You know what I mean? What I'm hoping is, is that because they are bringing so much to the masses, you know, items that I like to collect, possibly I might be able to get some, you know, after Christmas. Yeah, so that is so much fun, okay? But again, beautiful Hobby Lobby. Love, love, love him. Love My go-to spot, y'all, 
as if I needed more pillows. Y'all saw how many pillows I have already. But y'all, they were so cute. We saw him early on doing my, you know, shop with me. Look how adorable he is. So cute. This big old egg head body like uh, Santa Claus. Look at him with the little buffalo check. The cute little gold belt. Y'all, his little fuzzy Sherpa beard and oh so cute little hat. Just adorable, y'all. How much did we pay from him? Again, came from Home Goods. I paid $30 for him. So cute. And I did see a lot of these. So if you're looking for a lot of these items, the store still had them uh, in them, you know, the last time I was in. But so cute. He's going to make a huge impact in my decoration this year. Let me show y'all this right here, okay? I'm pointing to it now, but I'm going to give y'all a close-up view. Y'all, Turn 7 is another spot that I just love because they have a whole bunch of stuff. Let me show you guys this that I picked up from Turn 7. This wasn't even supposed to be sold for me, guys. Y'all, they weren't even selling this. They were using this as a prop. And I'm so glad that I asked about it. Y'all, I spent $10 for this. Now, when I do the side-by-side -side comparison, you're going to see the price, what this went for. All of the electrical components work. The only thing that's wrong with this, y'all, it's missing a little top piece. And I'll show y'all close up. But looking at this next to me, isn't that beautiful? It's going to make a huge impact. It has a beautiful LED lighting in the top. You can use it indoor or outdoor. And I'm just so happy to find this for 10 bucks. And then you'll see there are those red straps right on the side. So there are two red straps. All you're gonna do is pull those right up and then wow, you have a full blow mold scale. So my studio is so light, you can't even see anything. Okay, but isn't this cute? I love it, adorable, big impact, big red, um, Big old red sparkle splash of Christmas. I absolutely love this. And I'm so glad I asked. Another item that I don't have to move, but you guys can still see. I picked this up from Ross. Let me see how much I paid for it. I think I spent $10 on this. Uh, $10.99 for that. So cute. I don't have a lot of Mrs. Claus. So when I saw this one, I think y'all were with me when I saw this in Home Goods. When I saw this one, it had to come home with me. Well, I love their little floppy legs. Absolutely perfect. Again, this came from Home Goods. This is Isaac Mizrahi. Hope y'all can see. The lighting down here is suspect, okay? But I think y'all can see everything. Apologies if you can't, but this is the only way I'm gonna be able to do it, y'all, because I gotta start decorating. $24.99 for this. Compared to price was $36. Y'all, this came from Ross for $12.99. Another little dangly leg Santa. Look at him. So cute. I love that little holly on his uh, hat. And at the base of his shoes, so cute. And then the back of this is red. He has a little furry beard. Look at his little outfit. He has on the red and white check. Y'all, that is so cute. So this little guy, I also picked up from Home Goods, handcrafted in India items, y'all. He was $19.99, and he's just as cute as the other one. I love his little Sherpa beard. And look at his little hat. So cute. Look at that. Adorable. So we're going to put him here. And then you guys were with me when I picked this little guy picked up. Picked him up because it has the navy blue background like my picture from Hobby Lobby. Okay. So I picked this one up the last time we went shopping. My last shop with me, we were in Home Goods again, a different Home Goods. And this is just so cute. Okay. Love the navy blue background. This little jolly face um, Santa is on the bags that came from Marshall's last year. So. Yes, love that. Love that beautiful blue. And then look at the starry night. Okay, look at those beautiful gold stars. Can y'all see that? Again, I apologize for the lighting, y'all, but I think y'all can see that. Beautiful, jolly Santa with his packages, and it just looks so cute. And look at Santa and his little cookie. It's feathered down, and this was $20, y'all, $19.99. And to replace this one, but I think I'm going to keep it. It's home with me now. I'm not taking them back. My little Morgan Freeman Santa. Y'all look at him. Tell me this uh, Santa does not look like Morgan Freeman. Home Goods also. Adorable. And I was going to replace this one with him because I just went pillow crazy. Okay. But I'm going to keep him. 
He's unusual. I love the background, first of all, the beautiful green background. And it has Santa Claus in like a beautiful cursive writing on it. And again, he looks like Morgan Freeman to me. And then look at this back is a gorgeous uh, emerald green. Again, I'll just keep them. I was going to take them back. I'm not even going to tell that lie. Uh, I'm going to keep him. Uh, did I tell y'all how much he was? I think I said, let me tell y'all how much he was. $16.99. I think I might have misspoken and said $19.99. He was only $16.99. We'll sit Morgan Freeman over here. Okay. Okay. So what is next, y'all? We got to go through three bins that I have. So we're going to have to mess up this backdrop. But let's go in these bags first. Okay. And this bag... I put this house in here. Now, this house came from Turn 7. I might have showed y'all this before. A cute little pink house that originally came from Target. And I just love it. Um, Turn 7 had it for 5 The original price on it was 10 And I probably paid $2.50. So, y'all might have seen this before. Cute little pink house with a little snow. Two more Turn 7 items that y'all might have seen already. They just kind of got stuck in the bag. Uh, these are... Uh, little treat sacks. Okay. I love that plaid. Now let's get to the stuff that I haven't shown you. And what store are we in? Oh, this is Ross. Okay. Now this isn't for Christmas, but I needed one of these for the kitchen. So I picked up this little uh, soap dispenser. It's in a beautiful uh, marble quartz. Uh, it looks like my um, quartz countertop. Handcrafted one piece. Okay, this is also another item made in India. I love that gold top. And then look at all that beautiful veining. So pretty. So I have that for the kitchen. I'm going to tell y'all a story about the kitchen. Remind me to tell y'all a story about the kitchen before I get off of here. Okay, y'all going to be shocked. It's been two years, y'all. I might as well tell y'all the story now. I'm on a mission to finish that kitchen before Thanksgiving. I know y'all been with me two years. Now we're going to blame one year on COVID. Okay. And then we're going to bring blame the other year, probably half of that year on COVID also. And then we're going to blame the next six months on the Frubanista, on Vivica, on me. Yeah. I had somebody ask me in my last video, she said something like, uh, I started following you because of your Ikea kitchen and did you finish it? And because I was looking at stuff, I, I do this sometimes. I'll go back and watch my old videos to figure out what I have. And I was looking at one of my old videos and the toaster that Magnolia got us last year for the new kitchen is still upstairs in the box. So this week, I just basically said, we're getting ready to do this kitchen. I'm done. I started painting. Um, I got a couple more things to do in the kitchen. So y'all might be getting a kitchen tour from the Frugal Niece if you're still interested. If not, I understand because I've been talking about it forever. All right, y'all, let's get finished with this haul. I picked this little guy up. Look how cute. From uh, Ross. Adorable. Look at him. Can y'all see his face? So I picked him up. Earlier in the season, I saw him in a beautiful plate, and I didn't get the plate, and I've been on the hunt trying to find the plate. But this is a cute little uh, canister. And y'all, this is from the Let It Snow collection. It's only $4.99, so I picked that up. And I also picked up this, the little napkin holder also. So cute. Isn't that adorable? And they had the spoon rests in this collection. They also had the plate. And I saw them, you know, at the beginning of, you know, my shop with me's and I kind of passed it by and now I can't find it. But I just picked those up and I'll be kind of looking for the matching plate and the matching spoon rest. Just a cute little Jolly Santa. Yep, so cute. And then this, I don't remember what was in here. Now that's the fun part because I shop uh, sales over here in those clear bins over there. There are items that I picked up for like 90% off. That'll be so fun when I go there because I seriously don't remember what I find. But let's look and see what this bag has in it. I don't remember because I think I purchased this back in probably September, maybe. What's in here? Ooh. What's in here? Oh, I showed you guys these. Okay. This is another one of my little turn seven items. Okay. But I showed y'all these. 
Cute little uh, gingerbread man. Adorable. Oh, I told y'all about these. Oh, yeah, these are two little canisters, okay? And y'all look. Little Santa at the top. And it's an airtight little canister. And I pay $5.99 for the big one. The smaller version has like a little ribbon on it. And this little gift tag, it has a little gift tag on it. So this would be a, an excellent gift if you want to put something in it, some cute little treats. But I bought it seriously for the Santa. He's just adorable. So cute. And y'all, again, it's a vacuum seal. So it's made to keep stuff fresh. Okay? Okay, here's Jersey's little Christmas dress this year. I picked this up from Home Goods, y'all. Adorable. Uh, it's from Jingles and Joy. Y'all will get to see Jersey strutting her stuff in this if you go check her out on Instagram at Hey Jersey Girl. Yeah, y'all go check out Jersey on Instagram. Magnolia still uploads, I think, to her channel. But isn't that adorable? Look at the cute little white bows and the little Christmas belt. And then look at the little ruffles on the butt. So cute. And look at this. I was able to find one little doll this year. Um, I love her and her beautiful uh, mauve pink little outfit. That is going to be so cute. Look at her little ballerina slippers. Her little braids are adorable, and her hat is a posable hat, okay? So cute. So stinking cute. Y'all, she is $12.99. Yeah, I was only able to find one of those. Usually, I like to buy things like this in groupings of two, but I couldn't find another one. So I just picked her up. Can y'all see the flecks of sparkle? Little sequin sparkles in her dress. And she's made to sit like on a ledge. She has like a little uh, bean bag. But so she can sit up on a ledge if I wanted to. Adorable. And look at her little braids. So cute. Love her. You want to sit up here and be part of the backdrop? Look. Oh, how cute. Look at the little train. Oh, my goodness, y'all. A little snow globe. I don't know if y'all going to be able to pay attention to the little Santa in there. Well, at any rate, again, it's a cute little snow globe. And it also is... We wish you a Merry Christmas. So cute. Musical water globe. Look at that cute little train. I think that is adorable. And y'all, I paid $14.99 for this. So cute. Yeah. Again, I just love unusual things like this, okay? It's not um, every day that you see a beautiful train like this with a Santa in it that I collect. And, oh, and look, guys, this is from FAO Schwartz. Yeah, I didn't realize that. My daughters picked this up for me. They picked this up from um, Target. Sugar Fix by Bubble Bar, the Claws Couple. Now, these are so cute. If they don't um, photograph well here, I'll take a better picture of them. But they are adorable. And I'll have these for years to come. And it'll mean so much to me because my daughters picked these out for me. They were just out and about and said, Mom, we got these for you. Mirabella came in with them. Adorable. And they know I love to wear stuff like this. So they didn't make me wait until Christmas to get this for me. The cutest duo ever. Let's go inside of these three bins. I got to do some maneuvering so I can show y'all what's in them. Okay, y'all, we had to mess up our beautiful backdrop, but that's okay. We're going to see what's in these boxes, right? Okay, let's look at this one. Now, again, I kind of sort of remember what was in this one. My first time doing any Christmas shopping in Norsom's Rack. But this is a part I really, 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 really love. Oh, so cute. I can see it already, y'all. Let's look at this one first, okay? Well, we'll look at this one because I don't want to break him. Norsom's Rack had a beautiful collection of gingerbread. Who didn't, right? Look at him. Y'all, it is covered in a beautiful iridescent um, flocking almost like um, sprinkles, okay? It is gorgeous, so pretty. This is not doing it justice. It's in a beautiful mint, and it is playing with that pretty peppermint. Look at his pretty hair. And of course, it's gingerbread. Look at the top of his head. Is a little cake. Look at that. So well made, so well designed. So I pick this up, adorable. Y'all, I spent $30 on this one, so Cute. All right, so we have that. He goes in that bag. And then, 
Look at these. So cute. Another item that was too stinking cute. Y'all were with me when I went, you know, when I did this um, uh, shop with me. Uh, I told y'all I was in line and this was early in the season. So I guess people were kind of looking at me like, oh my goodness, they got, they have Christmas out and you're buying it. Yes. Now mind your business and move out the way later before I run you over in this cart in the Christmas spirit. Okay. Y'all look at these cute little gingerbread people. I have, did I get the same one? Oh, I thought it was a boy and a girl. Oh, or did I get two because of Magnolia and Mirabella? Maybe that's what I did. Okay. It's two little girls. I don't know why I thought it was a boy and a girl. Yeah. They sitting all wide legged, but they do have on dresses. I seriously thought it was a boy and a girl, but it's two little girls. I love their dress. Okay. It's gingerbread. So adorable. Y'all know gingerbread is all over the place. Y'all, they were $14.97. Okay. So I picked up two of those. I love the little striped hat. Okay. And then they have almost a waffle cone print on the back. And look at her cute little dress. Adorable. Yeah. I seriously thought this was a little boy though. I thought it was a boy and a girl. I'm going to go back to Norson's Rack to see if they had a boy and a girl. Because I would really like a boy and a girl. But if I can't get a boy, I'll pick, you know, these two up for Magnolia and Mirabella. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, y'all look. Oh, look how precious and how beautiful. Okay. A moment of silence. Look at this beautiful gingerbread house, y'all. And y'all, this house was only... $39.97. That's why I really got this. Okay. So cute. Look at the little packages on the top of the roof, the sparkle, iridescent uh, sprinkles of almost like a snow sugary type. And look at the little red door with the icing heart on it. Adorable, right? That is so cute. And oh my goodness, all of the peppermint accents. Y'all hold on a second. This is adorable. Y'all got to get closer to this. I know the lighting is doing the most down here, but let me see. Can I lighten it up? Look at that. Can y'all see that? Okay. There we go. Look at that. Oh, so cute, y'all. And for that price, I was like, yeah, you coming home with me. Too cute. Too cute. So now in addition to my gingerbread house that I showed y'all over here, I have this little guy. So cute. All right, so we're going to go in this one next. Now, some of this stuff in here you might have seen already because I see some stuff from turn seven. But we're going to finish out Norsham's rack, okay? What else is in here? Oh, look at this. I guess I just went gaga over gingerbread. Little gingerbread family. It is a mama, daddy, and a little girl. So cute. And y'all, this was only 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Oh, look at this, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Another little toy soldier with a gingerbread theme. Now, he looks like he's smaller than this one. Y'all, hold on. Yeah, he's smaller than that one. So, I have this one in the beautiful mint color and then this one in red. Adorable. And then, look, he's standing on a little uh, peppermint, pink peppermint. Okay. And y'all, this was $20. Now, how much was him? He was $29. So he was $30 and he was $20. Look at that. Look at the little gingerbread house on top of his head. Isn't that cute? Can y'all see him? Adorable. And I love all the red. And look, he's holding two little uh, gingerbread men right there. That is so cute. Another gingerbread house. So cute. Look at that. Adorable. Look at the sides. Those are so pretty. And a welcome addition to uh, me collecting them, I guess. Y'all, $20 for this. I just like it because it's so unusual. Okay? Y'all let me know if y'all seen this collection inside of Nordstrom's Rack and if you've seen this particular gingerbread before. I've been watching all of you guys go goo goo gaga over gingerbread. And like with everything else... Y'all remember a few years ago, it was the red truck everywhere. Now it's the gnomes. And then now it's the um, gingerbread men. It's just marketing, y'all. That's what I think, okay? It's just marketing. 
what they figure that we'll buy. They market it and they market it hard, okay? Ooh, now here's some Thanksgiving stuff. Oh, y'all, here's some Thanksgiving stuff. I'm glad I came and looked in this bag. Look at this. Yeah, I need this for next week. Uh, Harvest Home. Look at this little gravy ladle. It says, full of gratitude. Can y'all see that? I love the little gold on there. I picked that up at the same time. Y'all, this was $8.99. Look at this cute little butter dish, a little acorn. So cute. Y'all, I paid... $11.99 for this. That is just precious, right? So there we go. So I have matching these guys. So cute. Adorable. And I told y'all that he is uh, 1997. So cute. But they are very, very, very messy. I may have to spray them with some hairspray or some type of um, adhesive. Okay. Put him back here. And you know what? I'm going to take you and put you over here also because I do not want you to break. Let me put you in this bag. There we go. And then, whew, okay. Then more gingerbread. I think I picked this up from Ross. Yeah, this little guy came from Ross early in the season. It's from the Warm Tidings brand. And y'all, this was $10.99. It's a cute little gingerbread cookie jar. So cute. This little part lifts off. Okay. It looks like that. And then on the side, it has cookies for Santa on that side and a little window over here. And then look on top of the roof. Adorable, right? Yeah, so... I'm on my way to getting a little collection of uh, gingerbread, okay? All right, and this, y'all know I told y'all I really want to do plaid this year, and I found these in Ross early in the season. We're going to start with this. Ross got a huge collection of uh, items from Michael's, sure. but I picked these up. Y'all, they were $3.99 a piece. Cute little cone trees, little tabletop. Love that you can display this in a corner. I definitely love that beautiful plaid. It's giving me uh, RL vibes, uh, Ralph Lauren vibes. But they only had this for $3.99. So I thought that was a good buy. And then I thought this was cute. That matches. Uh, I'll be home for Christmas. It has a Christmas little car. This was $3.99 also. Match so pretty. This is going to be so cute. I love that little cursive uh, writing in gold. And of course, the plaid is just adorable. This house... This came from Ross also. And you can put a little tea light in this. Um, again, from Ashland. I paid $6 for it. And they don't have a compare to price on here. The compare to price on here is $12.50. But I think they probably had this more. And y'all should go inside of Ross. Y'all, seriously. Ross is starting to discount their stuff already. I don't see a compare to. Oh, yeah, the compare to price on here, y'all, is $21.99. That's going to be cute. Put a little tea light in that. Cute little house. And I think you guys have seen this stuff already, I think. So let me just double check to make sure. No, you haven't. And guess what? Oh, I'm getting excited. Y'all remember, see, I've forgotten already. Remember I showed y'all this, this collection. I didn't think that I got this, but I did. So I have the plate. I got this earlier in the season for $4.99. Ooh, I'm getting excited. So that's going to be so pretty. So I have the plate, the little canister, and the napkin holder. And now I think I only need is a little spoon rest. If I see it, fine. If not, that's a, a cute little trio to put out for the um, Christmas season. And you can't beat the price, y'all. Again, that was only five bucks. Five bucks for that. And look how cute that Santa is. Adorable. Cute little ceramic dish. Yeah, this is the best part. Y'all have to admit. Y'all let me know. Do you get excited when you see stuff that you purchased before? Okay. I think I did a haul of this one. I got this from Hobby Lobby for spring. Again, I spent $2.49 for this. Originally, this was $24.99. But this will make a beautiful addition if I decide to do... Uh, all of my uh, Jesus merchandise in one room. So beautiful 
um, rustic depiction of the cross. And I just want to go through here to make sure. Oh, look. I forgot about these two, y'all. I forgot about it. Wow, I forgot about this. Okay. So I found this one. I, I find it shocking that I only picked up one of these. But I found the little mug. I think I bought two of these. Hold on a second. But it's just like the other little item. So I have that mug. So cute. And I'm sure that I have two of those. I hope I do. Maybe I only got one of them. Okay. I showed y'all these from turn seven. Uh, I spent, I think they had these for a dollar. Yeah, I think I spent a dollar for these. Or it might have been four for a dollar. I don't remember. These came from turn seven. Originally, they were in Target. I know I showed y'all these were the houses. They came from Target uh, originally, but I got these from turn seven. Paid nothing for them. Either I paid a quarter for them or 33 cents. The original price on these were $5 a piece. They're little light up little houses. I got a whole bunch of those. I showed y'all these over the summer. Okay. I'm hoping I have another little mug like this. I thought I did. Okay. I showed y'all these. Turn seven. I think I paid a quarter for these little houses. More of the little reindeer. I showed y'all these. I showed y'all these lights. And I think I showed y'all this sweater for Jersey. I need to take this upstairs. Jersey is wearing her Buffalo check sweater now. But this is truly uh, more of a Christmassy vibe with the red and white and with the little reindeer on it. But she can wear this all winter long. Perfect. And I think I spent a quarter on this from turn seven. So cute. I think I showed y'all these. I spent a quarter on these, I think. The little snow, um, snowflake cups. I have four of those. Okay. And then I found one of these. I think I picked this up from at home. I said I was going to go back and get more of these. This was kind of early in the season. I picked that little um, ornament up of Santa. It's from the Elfing Around collection. I spent $2.49 for this. And everything else, I think you guys have seen before. Here are more of those little uh, grab bags. I have some little ho-ho-hos. Y'all seen these before. And then the little striped uh, stocking. Okay. And then you haven't seen this guy. And I think this is the last item, y'all. Wow. I got a lot, didn't I? I didn't, realize, I didn't realize I got so much, but anyway, it's all so cute. I picked this up from the at-home store. You guys were with me when I purchased him. It's a cute little adorable cookie jar. So cute, cute little cookie jar. And y'all, I paid $16.99 for him. I just thought he was so cute. Now, the only thing that I am missing, and I know I bought two of these, is this guy. He's probably somewhere here. And nine times out of 10, he's in one of those bins over there. And if he's in one of those bins over there, there might be some more merchandise that I didn't show you guys, but y'all have to come and check out my home tour this year. I'm going to start probably decorating. Uh, I'm not even going to lie when I'm going to start decorating because again, I'm doing stuff in the house for the kitchen, trying to get ready for Thanksgiving, but y'all come back and see what I do with all of this stuff that I picked up for Christmas this year. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all so much. Again, what are y'all supposed to be letting me know? What do y'all think about how I store all of this Christmas? And have you started your decorating yet? And if you haven't, is everything, I mean, if you have, is everything already up? You're just waiting to glaze the ham and welcome your guests into your house. You're ready for the beautiful holiday season. So your holiday will kick off right after Thanksgiving. That would be idea. That's what I should have done. I always never do that though. But I have been enjoying so much all of y'all videos. And I hope you guys uh, have, you know, like seeing what I purchased, doing my little walk with me's and shop with me's. I think I'm kind of done going in the stores. I still didn't make it into Target yet. I still didn't make it into Walmart yet. I did go in one Walmart. I didn't have my phone and they really didn't have a lot in that particular Walmart. 
Um, what other stores did I not go to? I think it was Target, Walmart. I went inside of Joanne Fabric. I didn't take you guys with me. Where else, y'all? Where else? But my go-to spots have been Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls. Yeah, they had just been showing out. And Nordstrom's Rack, all this cute little adorable gingerbread uh, merchandise. And I just thought the prices weren't that bad. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video real soon. All right, guys. Jazz hands. And is it too soon to say happy holidays? Bye, guys.